you are at a job interview, you get the what is your biggest weakness? Question. What is your answer? I'm terrible at interviews. Got me my job. This might only be applicable to someone newly out of college or applying for entry-level jobs. But I had a professor tell me to say lack of experience. If you're applying for an intro-level job, it's expected. It's a weakness that's not really your fault, and you can spin it as a reason you should get the job. Hand them a quality business card that says I overprepared. The year is 2015, and I'm interviewing for my first job at an unnamed game studio. I'm super nervous. I did the pre-interview tests, and they liked them. And I get the question. I get really nervous, and I talk a lot and ramble. It's pretty much word vomit until my brain catches up with my mouth until I catch up with what I just said, and most of the time I can't really remember the question. It got a lot of laughs in the room, but I really couldn't remember at the time what the director just asked me. I sing in the shower. Sometimes I spend too much time volunteering. Occasionally, I'll hit somebody with my car. Terrified that public speaking is usually the one I go with. It's fairly relatable, but easy to brush off by saying I get past it through practice. It also has the benefit of being true. My answer to that question at the local ice cream parlor was my biggest weakness is chocolate. I got the job and a free scoop of chocolate ice cream every day I worked there. Edit. Thanks for the award. My last boss told me that I'm condescending and that it's a huge area I need to work on. That means I talk down to people. I usually approach it honestly. I'm super hard on myself to the point that it can be counterproductive. So I typically don't need a lot of coaching when I fuck up, but I need to be reminded to move on. Honesty. I don't think that's really a weakness. I don't give a shit what you think. Interviewer. What is your greatest weakness? Me. Answering the semantics of the question while ignoring the pragmatics provided by the context. Interviewer. Interesting. Could you give me an example? Me. Yes. Honest answer followed by how you are improving. I tend to procrastinate, but I keep that at bay by sticking to a to-do list, etc. Well, I'd say my weakness is the cause of me getting fired from my last eight jobs. I bring in too many turtles. Apparently, I don't know how many the right amount of turtles is because they've brought anywhere from 50 up to 300. It seems unreasonable to bring less than 50, so I just don't get it. I would be honest during my interview about how many turtles I plan to bring to work with me and let loose in the facility, but they never ask. What about you guys? How many turtles do you guys bring to not get fired? Either my crippling alcoholism or penchant for theft, but I'm working on it. Hick. The back of my neck is extremely sensitive. If someone were to grab me by my neck and dig their nails in, it most likely pass out. Therefore, making it easier for someone to steal items. Confidence. Need to stop second guessing myself and realize that I'm good. Wooden stakes to the heart. Not that I'm a vampire. I'm just pretty sure that would kill me. I have a solid management background. I always tell them that I am bad at delegating. I prefer to do it myself, so I know it gets done right and on time. That it is hard for me to trust other coworkers at first. That answer seems to work so far. My usual go-to is that I have had difficulty with taking criticisms personally, especially against me when in a leadership role. I then follow up with talking about how I'm working on it and feel I've improved as I've taken on roles with more responsibility. It is an annoying question, but if you can find something to talk about honestly. And also explain how you are working to improve it. You are golden. I'm too humble. Perhaps the most humble person on the planet. The obvious ones are those. I'm a perfectionist, I suppose. It's one of my biggest weaknesses. But they are so cheesy and sp. The best is just being honest. My biggest weakness. I'm a fat mofo, and if anyone leaves food on my desk, it's getting eaten, no questions asked. Edit. 
I realize perfectionism is an actual weakness but many fresh off the boat graduates think it's a really good line in a job interview and have sadly ruined this for actual perfectionists. This is my point. Poor penmanship and swearing too much are my go-tos. Hiring managers usually get a chuckle out of it. Me. I can be very vague. Interviewer. Care to elaborate? Me. Yeah. I don't let people walk over me so I assume that's gonna be a problem for you guys. So I don't think you're fit for the job. Not letting you f. Curse tell me if I'm fit for a job. I'll see you guys Monday. Interviewer. What is your biggest weakness? Me. I have no weakness. No vulnerability. I am the all. No man can best me. No woman can resist me. My power is absolute. I am what the night fears and the sun flees each day. To look upon me is to know your inevitable demise. At the end of time I will cry tears of burning oil and open my thousand mouths and herald the end of all that is. When nothing is left I will lord over the darkness and ash of all that was and all that will be. That you would imply that I am not everything that encompasses the reality you can see and the realities behind the veils of your sanity tells me that you will be the first to be consumed in the blood and shadows that hide behind this world. Look upon my true form and no death. But if I had to pick and say that I have some difficulty with adding pictures to a word document. Interviewer. Now just a soul bound to the blasted and charred skeleton and existing on the line between life and death. And in eternal agony. I think that's all the questions I have. We'll let you know when we've made a decision. Me. Wonderful. Bill look forward to hearing from you. Priapism. People don't like to work alongside me. Seat sniffing. Don't worry. It's not creepy. It's actually a huge compliment. I work too hard. I care too much. And sometimes I can be too invested in my job. When I'm sexually aroused by street 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 stutter. Bullets. Both the gun kind and I used to many in PowerPoint presentations. Honestly, interviews. I've got a great work ethic, and I'm a petty quick learner but my interview skills are pretty lacking. I have very little patience for questions that are designed to force me to act in a way counter to my best interests. My biggest weakness is performing X skill that is not involved in this job. I realized that my strengths lie elsewhere, which is why I have applied for jobs in this industry that utilize my strengths instead of weaknesses. For me I say I have performed poorly in jobs that require physical labor. And so if specifically chosen to strengthen my resume in areas outside of physical labor, you could do that with anything. I'm not good at dealing at sales when I don't believe in the product. So, I'm applying here because I do believe in this product, etc. Frame your weakness as something that doesn't matter to this job. Thank you for your time, but I don't believe this is the right fit. Please delete my contact information. I have this glowing blue eye right in the middle of my forehead that I open every 30 seconds. Five arrows through it knock me right out. Why do you ask? Being poor, but I'm working on improving that by getting this job. Strength. Strength is my weakness. Kryptonite. I don't do good work when I'm multitasking. Since I know this about myself. When I am managing multiple projects at once, I allot time to concentrate on each separately. Any manager that doesn't have enough people skills or self-awareness to know that everyone is shitty at doing too high-level thinking tasks at once is not someone I want to work for. Shiting in public restrooms. Subscribe, like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe, like and comment.